Hello everyone, I am Saint Enix and welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, you know, been kind of busy. Uh, health hasn't been great, but that's neither here nor there. Let's jump right into it. Today we're going to talk about a game called Army Men Strike. It's a mobile game out for iOS, Android, and as well some Android emulators for PC, which is what I'm playing it on now and running OBS so I can record this video for you. So this video is going to be about daily stuff. You know, the stuff you can glean from the game on a daily basis without paying any money. Because this is a little bit of a pay to win, you know, kind of thing. So, <clears throat> and I can show you, in case you're in any other battlefield and deep battle opens, I can show you a nice juicy target to come attack. By the way, before we uh, end this video, I'm going to, actually no, I'm going to, well yeah, well, Something. We'll figure it out. Depends on how long this video runs. I know, I'm so flip-floppy, it's crazy. So, anyway, the first thing I want to point out, and I want to try to do this in order of ease of use and how quickly you can do this stuff. The first thing that's going to happen on a daily basis, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, adjust for your own time zone, is the server will reset into a new day. That's when the day kicks over is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard or 5 p.m. Pacific Time or, you know, you get you guys get it. First thing, you get 30 chances at your bug killer. This is, you just tap the screen, you just click or whatever, and every time you click or tap, it kills a bug and you get a little bitty booty. But, yeah, pff, I can't even talk. You get a bonus. You get uh, an item, a uh, a thousand paint or you know 160 electricity or 40 metal or a one minute speed up or five gold or something like that some little small boost every 10 bugs clears a screen and you get one of those little you know pick a door things where there's one two three the question marks you click it flips over it shows you what it is uh, it's hit or miss on those sometimes they're good sometimes they're not I will tell you that it does seem like the algorithm for those is skewed toward people who spend money because back when I spent money more money you know like back when I at the beginning of the game when I threw some money at it uh, when I first started playing I got much better stuff off of this so I don't know if that's for sure that's just anecdotal that's just my own observation so don't quote me on that but it does kind of seem like it okay beyond that you got your monthly sign in which is totally easy every time you sign in and boom you get whatever bonus for the day you're on you also get consecutive sign-in bonuses these these little boxes up here so every time 3 7 10 15 21 you click on them you get some stuff the, the 21 is really nice because it gives you a glory officer recruit token it also gives you like 30 fragments for a pretty good hero I mean officer sorry they changed that recently. They've dropped like four patches in the last month. So I'm trying. I'm, this video is not only for my core mates and to, to try to help people out with little things about the game, but also to kind of bring other people up to date and up to speed on what they've done and what they've changed. They've added some interesting stuff to the Silver War that we'll get into later, but I'm just letting you know that because it's right there and it popped in my head. So that's your basics. That's the easy stuff you can do as soon as 8 p.m. rolls over. You can log in and you can do those things. They're in the events tab, in the bonus tab of the events screen. And you can only access that through your base screen. You can't see it from the battlefield map or the house map. So you have to be here looking at your base. The next thing you can do is once you get to level 12 headquarters, you have an air force. And every 24 hours, you get a tactics uh, you can you can run a tactics drill and it gives you tactics points which is kinda like technology and you can use it to upgrade these kinds of things all kinds of different stuff and it goes on for a ways and each one is more expensive than the last so as you pick them they get more expensive okay so make sure you understand that they do get more expensive it's not like each one of these three gets more expensive or each one of these five gets more expensive every single one you pick as you go down gets more expensive no matter what number it is or what uh, you know tree it's uh, you know section it's under okay just want to make that clear after that you can come over to your Chinook and you can go to the house map every 18 hours I think 
this um, supply chest rolls over and you if you complete five of these invasions fill up this little line here you'll get a reward that reward will be 20 officer fragments you'll have three officers to choose from and they're on a rotating kind of thing so after you do it five or six times they'll switch the officers they won't all switch and it does seem like they're mostly like C level you know maybe a B here and there but uh, in general they're kind of the lower level ones but it's 20 it's 20 fragments you do that five times and you get an officer so or you can rank one up it's very helpful apart from that there is also your recruit officer every eight hours you get a free single officer recruit chance and every three days or 72 hours you get a 10 times recruit chance as well as soon as you use a hundred of them you get a four-star officer you don't get the fragments it's a full officer so I'm really close in another hour or so I'll be able to get 10 recruit chances and a f another free officer so that's kind of nice um, let's help everybody real quick. I gotta keep. I gotta keep on the helps. I gotta keep on the helps, folks, because uh, that's the only thing I'm leading. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm leading in. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not leading in anything else. I mean, I'm on. I'm on the board. On a lot of stuff, you know. I'm rank 21 in kills. Rank 37 in power. I'm horrible and no, nope, yeah, 38 and that. Yeah, the resources is ridiculous, 154. But yeah, so that's the one thing I'm topping on the charts. So I got to keep that one going, guys. Anyway, let's collect some resources just because, and I don't know why. They just keep collecting. So I don't know why I had to do that, but it's a, it's a thing. We're going to ignore those. We're going to ignore those now. We're going to go right into... Okay, we've covered the Chinook, we've covered the Air Force Tactics after you get to Headquarters 12. We've covered the Sign-In Bonus, we've covered the Bug Killer. Now we got to go to Quests. Okay, now, one more little thing I'm going to put out there is there's a, there's a weird time schedule scheme for this little rewards chest, but always, always check it. The Explorer team, always, always check it. There's cool stuff you can get out of there. Resources, gold, speed-ups, stuff like that. Okay. Um, next thing you want to do, oops, that's items, is go to your quests. There are going to be two major sections here that you're going to deal with on a daily basis. You're going to be core quests, which are dependent on how high, what level your uh, command center is, your command, you know, for your yeah, and then the daily quests. Now the daily quests have been changed recently in the last couple of patches. They've added the bug killer and recruit officer quests and they've also bumped the the amounts for these gifts but you really want to push for this 2400 every day because you get a recruit signet 300 gold 50 of two different types of chests 80,000 paint and plastic some VIP time it's just it's really good you can get it daily and there's no reason not to you just gotta spend a little bit of time getting things sorted Obviously, if you have officer's privileges, this really, really helps you get that completed. If you don't, you can still do it. And you can get away without doing the promote officer if you buy items. Okay? And I will tell you and show you what the best item is to buy to complete that quest. Because you're going to need it anyway. Micro antennas. They are the cheapest thing in the store. You can get... 10 of them for 50 gold and for the other 250 you get out of the daily quest you can get another day's worth of VIP so it's a really good it's a really good fit you can buy 10 of these and you're always going to need them because you're they're necessary to upgrade your joint command and anyway, once you get to level 11 and the next level is 12 it needs 238 of these antennas and that's not cheap but if you're trying to complete your daily and you're not spending gold any other way, and you want to get that quest done as cheap as possible, that is your best choice, because you're going to use them anyway. 
So, let's see. Uh, yeah, shut up, Victoria. So, now we go back to our dailies. The rest of the stuff is very simple. Upgrade building, research, train soldiers. And it's always from the tanks. It's always from the vehicles. Uh, build fortifications. Unload goods from the explorer team. Collect resources. You do that five seconds after you log in. You know, you'll get a, at least three chances at a recruit officer during a 24-hour period if you hit them on time when they when they refresh. So that shouldn't be a problem. VIP points, you need to use three VIP point items. And usually you can collect a little 10-point ones from people buying gifts and stuff, or getting gifts from people buying packs. Uh, that might be tricky. You know, if, you're, if your core is small, or if there's not a lot of people spending money, or if you're solo just wanting to play around, you know, that one might be tricky. The rest of them are very simple, very easy to do. So, now, the other thing that we have is kind of like quests, our achievements, and I'm going to just toss it in there. They're really helpful. They always have a gold amount that you win for completing them. And of course, when you look in your information, you'll see the number, the percentage of achievements you've you've completed. Okay, so it's it's I don't know if it's like a bragging right thing or whatnot, but it's it is what it is. I think I I believe that that's about it. The only other thing that's left on a daily basis is your Fuhrer secret base which can be opened by I'm not sure what rank it takes I think at least R3 it might not be and then there also is the EM Knight which is the core boss and you'll be able to choose where to place him on the battlefield to put him in range of your best soldiers or whatnot your best you know heavy hitters this is something that I'm gonna reiterate in the tips video but uh, your commandos move at about 40% extra speed compared to the rest of your troops. So you always, if you're trying to hit something quick and it's you're not concerned about how hard you hit it, if it's like the EM boss and you're trying to take out the batteries because they buff him and protect him, send your commandos, they'll get there faster. Also, when you're attacking for silver, once you break down their defenses and they have no fortifications or troops left, you always want to send commandos. Like snapping, like pushing a button, it'll be done. So, let's see. I think that's it, everybody. The only other thing that you get on a daily, on a regular basis, is your stamina. But I'm going to talk about that in a video about evil toys, mad scientists, and fanatic generals. I'm going to tie them all into one video. So we will save that for another day. All right, I think that's about it. I don't want to talk you guys' ear off. Thanks for watching. Hit, remember to hit that like button if you like this video, and hit the dislike button if you didn't. That's fine, but please leave me a comment down below and let me know why you didn't like it, so maybe I can do better next time. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate all your support, and I'll see you in the next one.